Vorne acht, hier dann. Billig, ja? Halb an den Rand. Ihr wollt mit da vor. Och spelar inte bara och kom. Kom kompressorn har gått så de stoppar kampen. Oh. So there's a interesting development. Ehm um, What? Stefan Wallstad just said that the, um, they're going to suspend everybody out here the plant until they can figure it out. Failed yeah. In terms of so cooling the ice. Maybe about a half an hour. So well, we've not gotten any official confirmation about yeah. that yet, but that is what the players are saying. You'll want to try to put some clothes on and stay warm and stuff. So eh? for the moment, this You'll game. You want to stay warm. For the moment, this game Maybe is going back or whatever. Yeah. Being stalled. We'll try and get a word in with uh, Chief Umpire. I believe the players were just told to to take a break while this issue is resolved. Of course, if result is finished, so game is finished. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, one nothing. Great game, thank you. And Torger, it's worth a try. He could go and have his birthday cake. <laughs> oh, interesting uh, situation here. <laughs> we have seen this before. I remember being uh, present at the Canadian Championship in St. John's, Newfoundland. During one of the playoff games, there was a power outage because of a heavy storm, and uh, we had to pick up had to pick up the game later. We're just gonna pop next door. I believe uh, they'll play out whatever end they're currently playing, and then we might see the other games also come to a stop. For the moment, I think uh, Norway and Team Japan have been told to just uh, find somewhere warmer to sit. Yeah, we see. Yeah. Okay, there is an issue with the plan. I guess the power plant. So all the games are being suspended now. That's why we finished the end. Okay. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, there is no further information yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so shall we stay here or shall we go? Uh, uh, yep. So, so, fold again. Just wondering here. if uh, the ice is, in fact, starting to slow down a bit. Top. With the yeah. issue here. Okay. I think it's good. Good. Good Six and Tots should still be able to uh, hit this Yellowstone right on the beach. Score the one. Joshua Sutor trying to carve it in, but this one will roll out. So a steal of one for Netherlands to lead this game two to nothing after three ends played. Okay, we have a little break. I don't know if you guys heard, but there's a problem with the ice. Yeah. So these teams will also head off the ice here. Yeah, lekker hoor. Still fuck. So that means there's just one game left. No problem there. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> never happened to me before. Do you know what happened? Yeah, so black end. Technical issues. Yeah. I think the compressors went down because yeah, the ice is changing. Yeah, the ice is melting. Yeah, it seems like. That's so, unfortunate. Yeah, they said technical issues. So. Uh, was fearing that it was COVID uh, test yeah. gone wrong, but I don't think we can. We're not getting tested, so. No, I don't know. It's probably so the ice. COVID is not the issue, then the yeah. ice is the issue. Yeah, I think if it was COVID, we, they would have just. No, no, they said finished. technical issues, yeah. so yeah, it should be okay. So, I guess no more curling for the moment. 
Very nice. At least it's just that. Like, I thought it was someone positive or something. Would have been a shit show. I, I've, I've never seen this before. I've seen, yeah, you get, occasionally we've had a light bulb burst or something like that, but uh, something that was easily manageable. This is the first I've heard of a, an ice plant actually going down. Midway through a game, I've heard of uh, yeah, overnight. failures through the night and the game doesn't get started. Uh, we, you know, we've had drops of water can come through the roof sometimes if you've got uh, fabric of the building. I've played had one game where the water came up the drains to the side of the sheet and, oh, and flooded us. <laughs> Uh, but not been on the ice as the plant has broken, no certainly not, and not even really heard that. So, and then it's difficult, the players, I presume, can gather around with their coaches and their alternates. Many have actually gone back to the locker room where it's uh, a little warmer. A little and warm. To say this is unusual would be an understatement. <laughs> this is extremely rare scenario. We've had uh, we were chatting with a number of the coaches and other commentators, Sandra Rolveg and uh, Rona Howie on our on our other WCF telecasts, recalling other games where you know I've seen games not start before when the plant has gone down, and uh, we've had lights go out or burst during uh, the middle of a game and on occasion, and and uh, the ice needing to be resurfaced. But this is the first time. Uh, you know, the, the, the coolant for the ice plant really has been a, had a huge effect on, on the surface. So uh, Mark, as I said, Mark and his team, Mark Callan and his team did notice early in the game and they were hoping the temperature was actually going to drop a little as the game was getting underway and it just never happened. So we gave it uh, 45 minutes to an hour and without uh, the ice temperature dropping, you know, the, the real danger of the ice actually melting sounds strange to say, and, uh, <laughs> and we will pick up where we left off. Okay, again. So here we go again. Peculiar circumstances. Birthday boy today. But um, might not even be his birthday anymore at the end of this game. As they are, there's nothing in the rings. Denmark failing to lie. Thank you, guys. And uh, with this stone we'll into the rings, game. Italy will pick up the win, 6-5 on Denmark. Played well, guys. Wasn't easy, I said after the break. Eh? The ice is dead now. Good game. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Well played.